Ladies and gentlemen, you might want to hide your wives for this story because I really feel like that a lot of you will get bumble clad in the situation because we're hearing that Call of Duty is getting delayed. I mean, damn! I want to get right into the story because I know that some of you will be like, yo, listen, Skizzle, this is Cap. I don't believe it, my guy. It's coming straight from Jason Schreier that Activision has delayed 2023's game. Damn! I'm seeing a lot of people around the streets, like people are dropping W's, some people are doing helicopters with their willies. Everybody seems to be really happy, but we got the big homie Keemstar came out and he had some really wild stuff to say. So much so that a lot of people, even over Habibi, Dr. Enib came out and he says, Okay, I'm done, bro. We just want a good Call of Duty. So this is gonna be really, really tough for the streets. And with that, I just wanna get right into the story. We do news videos, reaction videos every single day. So hit the subscribe bell and let's go for maybe three likes on the video. But our first story is about Round Hill Investments. So earlier today, they came out and they were like, Yo, Activision is gonna be delaying their next year's Call of Duty game and a lot of people were like yeah this is just cap I'll, I'll see or I'll believe it when I see it okay or in this case I'll believe it when I don't see it they say that 2023 will be the first time in nearly two decades that the franchise will not have an annual mainline release I mean damn a new Call of Duty game is still set to be released this fall and quickly after this it the, the source is Bloomberg and uh, shout out to the homie for adding me in the situation on the other hand there are people saying that shame it's Modern Warfare 2 and not a track title for the next two years quickly after Tom actually started engaging I was like let me get my schlongs involved and I was like you know what like, I need to see my skizzle coin pumping as well like I wanna I wanna see it blow up too so let me actually tweet about it and then you can see like the homies are engaging but then Daniel came out and says that they really need to delay a Treyarch game dude why not Modern Warfare 2 Hardcore Lava says maybe because Treyarch needs some more time and Infinity Ward has everything well together Lamal it's kind of shelf explain Tori. My guy, I get it that it, we're living in a cold world out there, but damn, man, you don't drop Lamau it's self-explanatory on a homie like that. So I guess it's safe to say when that story broke, a lot of people were like, damn, I think it's uh, it's happening. Tom actually put up a tweet and quickly after, Jason was like, yo, source Bloomberg, if you're going to try to be a journalist, cite your damn sources instead of trying to pretend they're your own. I mean, Jason has a point right there, but damn, man, like, you didn't have to bukake the homie like that. You you didn't have to drop like a stun grenade. Uh, uh, we're not even sure if he was wearing a tack mask or not. Like. Damn, man! Then Jason started wilding out by saying if you're seeing some big Call of Duty news floating around without proper sourcing, and once you know what the deal is, sit tight. Listen, he has the right to say that. Obviously, he should have credited, but again, though, it happened, it happened. But Jason Shard then follows up by saying, Scoop, for the first time in two decades, Call of Duty will skip a year. Activision has delayed 2023's game made by Treyarch. And those of you that are not aware, the next Treyarch game, according to Tom Henderson, according to a bunch of other sources, it's gonna be a Black Ops 2 remake. Now, before you start shaking or anything Ooh. like that, just come back to Planet Earth, okay? It's not a remaster, it's a remake. It's gonna be a new game, but it's gonna be similar to Black Ops 2. And I do know some of you are like, yo, we, we do not want remakes. We want a new game. Too bad. We're living in an era of remakes, remasters, unfinished games, NFTs. So, yep, that's basically modern day gaming. He says that Activision has delayed that game to 2024. Sources tell Bloomberg it's a shocking move that will have a massive impact on the franchise and, and, and the industry as a whole. Then he follows up by saying a new premium Call of Duty has come out every year since 2005 next year's offerings will include a new free-to-play game as well as content for warzone 2 and 2022's modern warfare and that is true though because previously he did leak the fact that we're gonna be getting warzone 2 and not long ago Activision also confirmed that we're gonna be getting warzone 2 and I genuinely feel like that next year when people start to not hear about the next Call of Duty game I do think that there will be a lot of people that especially the uh, Call of Duty addicts let's just say the the Nesquik addicts I really Really cannot say certain words on YouTube. I, I really feel like that a lot of people will be itching their wallet. A lot of people will be having those urges to buy like a new Call of Duty game. I genuinely feel like that there will be some people that would end up buying the same Call of Duty game two times and trying to convince themselves that they bought a new Call of Duty game. I do think that a lot of people will get bumble clad in the situation and it's gonna be a little bit sad for the Call of Duty addicts because let's be real, this story is good for the fan base, it's good for the blind fans even, it's also good for the franchise, but I'm not too certain about the Call of Duty addicts out there. I also do think that there will be some sort of pain if Modern Warfare 2 comes out, if that game is Shiza, 
even if Modern Warfare 2 is not Shiza this year, I do think that there will be a lot of people that will just be like, yo, man, I, I don't want to, like, camp in that game. I don't like the campers. I, I don't like the doors. I, I don't like the skill-based matchmaking, right? So there will be a lot of pain, and I do think that there will be complications. Then Jason says that this decision was made completely independent on Microsoft. Damn! Right now, I'm having complications, okay? I'm having a hard time believing that Activision is the one to do that. Now, does that mean that a Treyarch will not take their time and not do helicopters with their willies? Because listen, man, I really want the next Treyarch game to be good, okay? I really want zombies to have a massive comeback. I love me some Black Ops 2. I love me some Black Ops 3 zombies. I really want to see zombies make a comeback, but it's going to be really sad and depressing if they're given extra year and they took that extra year to just do helicopters with their willies. If they're going to do helicopters with their willies and not work on the game, then I don't want it, okay? And this is because Call of Duty Vanguard has underperformed and Shiza the bed and Activision executives have been concerned about the games cannibalizing one another. Sources say, listen man, if you like Call of Duty Vanguard, that's perfectly fine, but this game really caused a lot of things to change. Not only the lawsuit, but Call of Duty Vanguard. Listen man, the Activision folks just cannot seem to do helicopters with their willies anymore. And you can see like everybody's like dropping in, like people throwing Ws. The big homie Hamad came out and said, yeah, sure, Tom Hanks, you're going to try to be a journalist, cite your damn. Listen, bro, I've never seen Twitter coming together as one. Like, normally people drop stun grenades on each other, people get DDT in the situation. My guy, on Twitter, nobody loves nobody. This is a tough platform. But today, everybody's coming together as one, except for the big homie Keemstar. And uh, all I gotta say here is that, roll it. This app is filled with complete morons. I keep seeing these people over and over again. I think Call of Duty should move to a two-year cycle. It would give them more time to make a better game. Okay, but you're you're forgetting one thing, all right? What if they take two years and the game isn't good? Then you have to wait two more years for a good game. Have you not factored that in yet? And we're already on a three-year cycle. Did you know that? There's like three different studios that make the game and every three years, their game comes out. But what, you didn't factor that in either? They're already on a three year cycle. Bro, why don't they just add more studios? We can still get a Call of Duty every single year, just add another studio. Then it would be a four year cycle, all right? Y'all sitting here saying, I would rather have a better game than have a game every year. But you might not get one. Can you see the fucking future? We've had Call of Duties every single year for decades, right? <laughs> um, some were good. Some were really good. Like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. Like there were some really good games that came out. Modern Warfare 2, whatever. Um, and then there were really sh** games. Okay, like Ghost, all right? Bad Call of Duties. It's hit or miss. You f***ing morons sitting here saying, I'd rather have them take more time. There is no guarantee you're getting a good game. You f***ing idiot. Why are you all supporting this? You f***ing moron. You're going to sit there for two years without a f***ing game. Because one of these games is going to be f***ing stupid. And you're going to have to just sit there for two f***ing years. You're so f***ing stupid. I hate you. I hate all of you that are doing this. You're going to ruin it, bro. Every November, every December... We play COD and now we're not going to be able to do it anymore because you keep fucking saying stupid shit. I'd rather have a better game. Where is your guarantee? Show me the contract between you and Activision that the game's going to be amazing. You're just saying it without knowing stupid fucks. But click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're going to.